Using the Embedded WebView API, you can create interactive HTML reports that contain web views of one or more associated simulating models. Here is an example HTML report that can be created using this API. The report consists of three panes, one for table of contents, one for the content of the report, and another one for the web view. These three panes are interlinked. I can navigate to the content using the table of contents and from the content to specific parts of the web view. Now let us see how the embedded web view API is used to create such a report. For this video, I'll create a simple HTML report with design variable information of any given model. The information that I plan to add to my report are value, data type, source, source type, and users of any given variable in a model. I'll also create a two-way link that lets me navigate between the web view and the content in the middle pane. For this, we need to define a new class definition file with the embedded web view class definition template. Here's a generic class definition. Now let us modify this to build our custom report. First, I'll change the class definition name to system design variables. Then I'll add commands here to turn off duplicate link warnings for multiple blocks using the same variables and add export options for mass subsystems, library blocks, and model references. Now I'll use the fill content method to fill up the content of the report. In this code, I'll use MATLAB Report Generator's DOM API or Document Object Model API to fill the content. In the next couple of lines, I'll obtain the name of the model and extract the model from the cell array. In the next section, I'll create a title for the report and assign it a style. In the next set of lines, I'll use the Simulink API to find variables used by the model, loop through the variables, and create sections with headings for each of these variables. Then I'll format the way this information is presented in the report using the DOM table class. And finally, format the table as well. This completes the class definition. Now I can write a script that loads up a model and uses this class definition file to fill content of the HTML report. The fill method that I used in this script uses the one that the system design variables inherits from its base class. This method embeds a web view of the model in the report. It also calls the fill content method of the system design variables class we just created and fills the document pane with variables used by the model. If I run the script now, the model gets loaded and the HTML report gets generated.